If you're a follower of Dr. Sears, you already understand the vital role protein plays in metabolism, diet, and overall health. But here's the million dollar question. How much do you actually know about protein? The New York Times recently dropped a protein knowledge challenge, so why not take it with a certified protein expert, aka my dad, and get his thoughts? <laughs> Buckle up, folks. We're about to find out what we know about protein. I'm shaking in my boots. All right. True or false, most Americans get more than enough protein in their diets. Sometimes. Now, Sometimes is not an answer. The answer is, in my opinion, no. True, they're saying. On average, people in the United States consume plenty of protein. What is your take on this? The take is, it's not how much protein you consume in a day. It's how much protein you should consume at a meal. A lot of Americans basically take too much at dinner and virtually none at breakfast. That doesn't make sense. All right. Which two of the following groups are least likely to get enough protein? I'm gonna have to go with teenage girls and adults age 71 and older. Why is that? Well, first of all, teenage girls are concerned about basically excess body fat. So they basically consume less calories, which means they usually consume less protein. And by the time you reach, let's say, age 65, your protein needs actually start to increase because your body's ability to make uh, lean body mass decreases as we age. If we don't, we become frail. All right, New York Times says teenage girls and adults age 71 and older. So we are in sync with the New York Times here. All right, true or false? Can you meet all your protein needs with plant-based foods alone? Theoretically, yes, but it's hard because plant-based foods, by and large, contain very small amounts of protein. So if I wanted to get to, say, 30 grams of a protein at a meal, I'm gonna have to eat about, uh, you know, uh, 30 stalks of um, asparagus. And that's almost impossible. Oh, they're saying true. They are saying, as long as you eat a variety of protein-rich foods every day, like beans, soy, grains, and nuts, you can meet all your amino acid needs. In theory, Correct. In reality, it doesn't happen. All right, true or false? Protein powder supplements can help you build muscle even if you don't do strength training exercises. That is false. And the reason is you say, oh, I'm eating protein, my muscles will get bigger. It doesn't work that way. You can eat the protein, but you need a stress on the muscles to turn that uh, protein into new muscular tissue. So simply basically eating a lot of protein, you're not gonna look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, let's see what the New York uh, Times has to say about this. Oh, they agree with us. Well, it's nice to see the New York Times isn't wrong all the time. So, which of the following foods has the most protein? I'd say a can of tuna. And what does the New York Times say? Uh, they say it is one cup of cottage cheese. Well, frankly, you're better off basically with a can of tuna for the one less gram of protein. Why? It's better quality protein. But frankly, you're not gonna eat that much cottage cheese. I mean, you might, I've seen it. All right, we're getting towards the end. We're on the home stretch. Which of the following foods has the least protein? I don't know, probably go with the bacon. The bacon, how so? Because bacon's primarily fat. New York Times says, we're right. But if you want fat and bad fat, bacon's a good choice. And it's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final question. Some experts recommend eating at least 20 grams of protein at breakfast. Which of the following meals would hit that target? Well, first of all, you don't need 20 grams, you need 30 grams. Oof. So, so already, whatever the answer is, it's basically inadequate protein for breakfast. Now, which one will give you closer to the 20? I'm gonna basically go with the one cup of Greek yogurt and blueberries. But not the tofu scramble? A tofu scramble yeah. will be fine, yes. Yeah. I will, and I'll see, I'll, let me throw one more in there. The two eggs and uh, a cup of milk. And New York Times says that we are correct if we're going by their 20 grams per but, meal. Again, there's two reasons you need protein. One, to basically replace damaged tissue, and the other is to stop hunger. So we do really need at least about 30 grams of protein at a meal, regardless of your age or sex to stop eating. Well, thank you so much for uh, participating in the and your take on the New York Times Protein Knowledge Challenge. Thank you, and again, for the New York Times, guys, you can do better questions next time. <laughs>
For more information on the science of protein, go to drsears.com.